Have you ever wondered why the universe makes you wait? It's not just a test of patience, there are profound reasons behind these pauses, reasons that we'll explore together, revealing the unseen threads that connect our lives to a larger tapestry. One reason is that you are not ready. In life, we often find ourselves waiting, whether it's for a dream to take shape, an opportunity to appear, or the right moment to act. It's a time of stillness, a pause that can feel both frustrating and mystifying. But have you ever considered that perhaps you aren't quite ready for what's coming next? The universe, in its infinite wisdom, is holding you back for a reason. Patience and resilience are woven into the art of waiting, a subtle skill that I've come to appreciate. It's tempting to rush forward, eager for the next chapter, but in that haste, we risk overlooking vital lessons from the past and miss the chance to prepare for what's ahead. Think about it, waiting isn't about being idle, it's an opportunity for introspection. It's a chance to honestly evaluate our readiness, strengths, and areas for growth. When we embrace this waiting period, we give ourselves the time to align with our true purpose and desires. Waiting allows us to evolve, to become the person capable of navigating the blessings and challenges awaiting us. The universe, like a wise mentor, operates on a timeline beyond our grasp. It knows when we're genuinely prepared to receive what we've been asking for. And it's not just about external readiness, the right job, the perfect partner, or the ideal opportunity, but also about our internal readiness. Are we emotionally, mentally, and spiritually equipped for what we seek? The wisdom echoed in Rumi's words, what you seek is seeking you, resonates beautifully. It speaks of a shared readiness, a divine harmony where our desires are in preparation for us. The universe, with its vast wisdom, patiently awaits this perfect alignment. So, when you're in a phase of waiting, embrace it. Utilize this time to equip yourself, to learn, and to grow. Reflect on past experiences, grasp their lessons, and apply them to shape your future. Have faith in the universe's timing, it's not just about feeling ready but genuinely being ready. Remember, waiting is not a passive state, it's an active process of transformation. The universe isn't postponing your dreams without reason, it's molding you, crafting the person who can not only reach those dreams but also sustain and cherish them. Your readiness is more than reaching the destination, it's about relishing the journey and being fully present in each step. Moreover, consider redirection as a potential gift. While we often have a set destination in mind, a path we deem best, sometimes the universe redirects us. It's not a mark of failure or a detour from success, rather, it's a sign that there's an alternative, perhaps a superior path awaiting us. Embrace the redirection as an opportunity for unforeseen growth and discovery. The idea of the universe redirecting our path can be disconcerting. We, as creatures of habit, find solace in the familiar and often resist change. When our plans take an unexpected turn, it can feel like we're losing control, as if the universe is toying with our aspirations. Yet, it's crucial to recognize that these shifts in direction often work in our favor. Consider this, maybe the path you were on didn't align with your deepest values or true potential. Perhaps the goals you set were more a product of societal expectations than your genuine passions. The universe, in its vast wisdom, perceives the bigger picture, a perspective we might be oblivious to. It comprehends our strengths, weaknesses, and the lessons necessary for our evolution. By rerouting our path, the universe offers an opportunity to recalibrate, aligning our journey with our authentic purpose. Being rerouted is also a lesson in trust and surrender. It involves believing that there's a reason behind every twist and turn, even if it's not immediately evident. It's about understanding that sometimes, the best way to reach our destination is by letting go of our rigid plans and trusting the process. This trust isn't passive, it's an active engagement with the present, 
an openness to new possibilities and opportunities that may emerge from unexpected changes. Navigating the rerouting process becomes a school of resilience. When confronted with an unexpected change in direction, we discover the art of adaptation, finding stability in unfamiliar terrain. It's a test of our capacity to endure uncertainty and persevere even when the road ahead is unclear, a life skill that proves invaluable in tackling not only present challenges but also those on the horizon. During this rerouting phase, staying mindful is crucial. Observe the signs and signals the universe sends your way. Are there new opportunities unfolding? Are there essential lessons in your current situation propelling your growth? This awareness empowers you to make the most of the detour. Rerouting by the universe isn't a setback, it's an invitation to explore fresh horizons, to evolve and transform. It's a gentle nudge that the best route to your destination may not always be a straight line but a journey enriched by life's twists and turns. So, when the universe guides you onto a different path, take a deep breath, trust the cosmic plan, and remain open to the adventure awaiting you. Understanding the concept of timing adds another layer of wisdom and patience to our journey. Recognizing that certain events or desires have their perfect moment isn't just about waiting, it's an acknowledgement that everything unfolds in its season. The ancient Stoics, wise philosophers of their time, emphasized this notion. They believed, akin to nature, our lives follow cycles and seasons. As one Stoic quote aptly puts it, there is a season for everything, a time for every occupation under heaven. This perspective encourages us to discern the rhythm in our lives, the natural ebb and flow of events and experiences. When faced with delays or setbacks, the impulse to push against the natural order arises. However, Adopting a stoic mindset involves embracing the idea that not every moment is primed for action. Sometimes, the wisest course is inaction, allowing the organic progression of events to unfold. In delving into this philosophy, we find a harmonious resonance with the intricate timing woven into the fabric of the universe. Picture a farmer cultivating a field, a master of recognizing the opportune moments to sow seeds and harvest crops. Similarly, in the tapestry of our personal journeys, this philosophy urges us to grasp that certain aspirations or connections may not unfold as desired simply because it's not the right moment. It could be that we aren't entirely ready to wholeheartedly embrace these facets of our lives, or perhaps external circumstances haven't seamlessly aligned. Embracing this realization bestows a profound sense of tranquility and releases the burdensome weight of attempting to exert control over every facet of our existence. In essence, it invites us to trust the unseen, intricate forces at play, forces that, like a skilled farmer's understanding of seasons, know when to plant the seeds of our endeavors and when to reap the bountiful harvest. It's an acknowledgement that there exists a natural rhythm, a cosmic orchestration beyond our immediate perception, guiding the unfolding of our personal narratives. This acceptance not only nurtures a serene acceptance of the present but also fosters a deep sense of alignment with the larger cosmic design, alleviating the anxiety that arises from futile attempts to dictate the pace of our individual journeys. Furthermore, this perspective encourages the cultivation of patience and trust. Patience isn't passive waiting, it's an active participation in the present moment. It involves doing what we can now and trusting that the rest will follow in its own time. It's about nurturing our goals and dreams, allowing them the time needed to mature, much like a gardener tending to their garden, knowing each plant will bloom in its season. This approach also prompts a focus on personal growth and preparation during the wait. While awaiting the right timing, we can develop ourselves, acquiring the skills, wisdom, and maturity required for when our moment arrives. This way, when the opportune time comes, we're fully prepared to seize the opportunities and embrace the experiences that come our way. In essence, respecting the concept of timing in the universe is about harmonizing with life's natural rhythms. It acknowledges that there's a right time for everything, 
and our role is to align ourselves with this flow, being present and ready when our season arrives. As I navigate life's journey, I hold on to the wisdom of the Stoics and the beauty of nature's cycles, finding peace in the understanding that everything has its perfect time. Moreover, the belief that, better is coming, resonates strongly with me. It serves as a powerful reminder that what I desire at the moment may not be what's ultimately best for me. Trusting that the universe might have something more fulfilling in store reframes waiting from a passive act into a dynamic understanding that what lies ahead could surpass my initial hopes. In times of waiting, it's natural to feel urgency, yet embracing patience often leads to outcomes that are not only more rewarding but also better suited to my true needs and aspirations. Imagine tending to a garden, where a patient gardener doesn't force plants to grow faster but provides the right conditions, water, sunlight, and nutrients. They then wait for nature to take its course, resulting in a healthy, robust plant. Likewise, in our lives, the most fulfilling outcomes often stem from nurturing our goals and dreams with effort and attention, allowing them to unfold naturally. Trusting in the promise that better things are coming involves having faith in life's process. It means recognizing that each experience, delay, or challenge contributes to a broader journey leading to something more meaningful. This faith isn't passive, it's an active state of hope and engagement with the present, coupled with an optimistic outlook for the future. Moreover, this mindset offers opportunities for substantial personal growth during waiting periods. In the tapestry of our lives, these moments of waiting serve as fertile ground for cultivating virtues that elevate our character, virtues like patience, resilience, and gratitude. As we navigate through these periods, we're not merely enduring the passage of time, we're actively nurturing qualities that fortify our inner selves. Consider these virtues as seeds planted during the waiting season. Patience becomes the sturdy stem that withstands the winds of uncertainty, resilience emerges as the blossoming flower that thrives even in adversity, and gratitude acts as the roots grounding us in appreciation for the present. These virtues don't just make us resilient individuals, they also function as the rich soil from which our personal growth and fulfillment can flourish. Moreover, the profound concept of better is coming acts as a beacon of optimism, urging us to perceive life as an intricate journey with its natural ebbs and flows. It's an invitation to recognize that challenges and low points are transient components of a larger, cyclical pattern. Just as seasons transition, where the frosty grip of winter yields to the vibrant bloom of spring, the challenging phases in our lives inevitably pave the way for times of flourishing and abundance. In embracing this concept, it's crucial to remember the significant role our actions and choices play. While we trust in the universe's plan, making wise decisions and taking actions aligned with our values and goals is a balancing act. It involves doing our part while letting go of the need to control every outcome. In conclusion, holding on to the belief that better is coming is a blend of trust, patience, and active hope. It's an acknowledgement that the universe's plan might involve waiting and preparation, leading us towards something more meaningful and fulfilling. By adopting this perspective, we open ourselves to a future filled with potential and joy, knowing that the best is yet to come. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found value in our shared insights today, consider liking and subscribing to stay connected. Sharing this message with others who might benefit is a wonderful way to spread these insights.